works. I am very excited because I also wanted to know about JZB. Come on, let's go. JZB is a massive machine. It has two arms like us. Bigger at the one end and the front loader at the other end. Why is the digger called digger? Because it digs the mud. The digger looks like our single arm. The front loader helps to push and collect the soil. While the digger looks like single arm, the front loader looks like our both hands put together. I am going to tell you an interesting fact about JCB wheels. A JCB doesn't need a wheel to stand. It need a it uses vertical stabilizer to stand during heavy work. We can change the digger with different tools like ripper tooth, jaw bucket, rock breaker for special work. The JZB uses hydraulics to move the digger and the front loader. Come on, let's get into the cabin. Well, we are inside the cabin. The interesting fact about the seat is it can rotate 180 degrees. When you want to face the digger, you face the digger. When you want to use the front loader, you face the front loader. The controls are in the shape of gear. You can move them forward or backward to move the digger and the front loader. The steering is only used when we go on the road. The JZB goes very slow because it is a heavy machine. Before the JZB was invented, it took a lot of time to dig. After JZB was invented, it became easy and fast to dig. Just now, the JZB dig so long. JZB was found by Joseph Seidel Bamford. That's why it's called JCB. JZB. There are many companies like L&T, Hitachi, Volvo, who make diggers. But JZB has become popular and a common name for diggers. See you on the next video. Bye.